What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mastering Body Language with me, the Body Language Noob. And today we're going to be talking about another arm crossing gesture and it is the thumbs up arm cross. Looks something like this. Now what this body language is showing is this person feels a little defensive but they also still feel kind of cool, you know, so... Yeah, that Bardock's a pretty cool guy. I'm kind of sitting like this. I feel like, yeah, I feel, I feel kind of laid back. I feel kind of cool. But I also feel like I need to protect myself when I have this type of body language. And what this body language tends to show is that the person still feels like they're in control of the situation. So if you, if you catch yourself doing a gesture like this... Basically what it's showing is you still have self-confidence, but you still feel the need for protection. You're still covering your vital organs. So although you do feel confident in that situation because you're a confident person, that situation does feel slightly threatening to you. And I'm not, when I say threatening, I don't mean like a guy's going to run into a knife and stab you. Basically what I mean is, is if you're in a, a certain situation where you feel like that guy might call me out on something or that guy might make fun of me, if all those thoughts are going through your head and you're still a confident person, you may look at those people and have a gesture like this. Now a cool thing to look at is a defensive and submissive person will actually sit symmetrical straight up and down. Everything is symmetrical. Boom, here, everything's symmetrical. Looking straight forward, probably quick head turns. Tense, tense by, if they're male, you'll see a lot, of, well, if they're male or female, you'll see some flexing along the arms because they're tense. They are submissive and defensive. They are nervous. They are the, the most uncomfortable in those situations. Whereas someone who is defensive yet dominant in those situations, this is cool, will actually not be symmetrical. I think it's asymmetrical and you know if you kind of think about it you know you look at someone who looks like they're relaxed and in control you kind of lean a little bit you know I'm not symmetrical right now I'm kind of a mess but it does look like I'm a little more confident than someone sitting like this you know so if I'm leaning back and I'm like this you know I do feel I feel protected right now and I still feel a little confident, you know, in that situation, so it's kind of cool. Now, a really important thing to understand is a lot of body language experts call this the getting the thumbs up. Now, when you're presenting, or even more important, when you're selling something, selling an idea, selling a car, selling hair products, selling yourself, to a, in an interview, not as a hooker. <laughs> when you see someone going like this, you know, you're getting a thumbs up. Now, it's important to read the body language in clusters, okay? This is where cl cluster, ge reading gestures in clusters comes in. This is what we talked about in the very first video, the rules, okay? If this is paired up with a genuine smile, lots of eye contact, raising the eyebrows, surprise, followed by a smile, you know, you're like, okay, yeah, I did this project, on, here's me, in an interview, yeah, I did this project on my own at the coffee shop, I didn't have to do it for school, I just did it on my own, and then they kind of just like, oh, okay, yeah, I like that, you know, that's a gesture, that's clustered, you just read the face, and you're getting the thumbs up. Now you know it's time to seal the deal. 
if you're selling a car and you see someone giving you the thumbs up clustered with positive gestures, it's time to bring out your sales pitch. It's time to close the deal, get the sale. Now, the opposite of that. If you're getting negative gestures along with the thumbs up, contracted eyebrows, I don't know if you see it because of my hair and my glasses, a lot of times you'll see a skin fold right here. That's contraction in the eyebrows. Or you'll see a tight lip smile. You know, something like that. When you see negative gestures paired up with the getting the thumbs up, it's time to switch what you're saying. You're going to have to come up with a new game plan to try to get those positive gestures out of that person. And people who are really good at this can see that, oh no, they didn't like that. This is all going on in their mind. Oh no, they didn't like what I said. Here, let me talk about something that might interest them, like fuel economy on this car, the leather seats, the heated seats, because they're not liking me talking about the engine and things like that. And they, If I keep talking about the engine, they're not going to want to buy the car, so let me switch. It's all going on in the head. And they switch. They say, all right, this has got leather seats. It's got heated seats both in front and back. The guy's good. You know, it's a great car. The leather is made out of blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden you see, oh, okay. You know, okay, yeah, that sounds, I like that, you know. Boom. You switched it from negative to positive. Now you know where to go. Now you know the right direction to take the conversation, to take this sale, to take the presentation. So you switched your game plan, now you see that, now you can throw out your sales pitch, now you can seal the deal. And that's what's important about getting the thumbs up. And that's what's cool about this, this arm gesture. So I hope you guys learned a lot from watching this video. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video, comment if you want to talk. I always respond to comments, at least I try to. And basically, subscribe if you want to see more um, what really helps me out the most is if you share the video um, on your social media Facebook Twitter say hey guys what's up check this guy out he's kind of funny he's kind of entertaining and he's also educational at least I try to be and basically sharing helps me out a lot let's end this fucking video we did a good job until next time peace out body language noobs